No, I have had such an incredible time getting to know the two of you over the past year. You are people who met no less in the midst of a job interview, and it would seem that the interview went quite well. What you describe of your relationship is that there was never any filter. You were operating on camp time. A day was like a week, a week was like a month, a month was like a year. So after a couple of summers at camp together, you knew each other totally, were so open and had unbelievable communication. You spoke of sitting back and just watching the stars together, wondering about the world, filled with awe and inspiration, not only at the stars themselves, but also the eyes of your beloved. Now, Brett, when I asked you what you loved most about your bride, you said that she makes every single day better and that she is always in your corner. She's there for you through thick and thin and supports you unconditionally. Deborah, what you said of your groom is that he is a person who inspires you to continually work to become a fuller, better, and even more remarkable human being. He is a source of support, a source of love, and indeed that source of inspiration. In our tradition, there is the idea, leave no to lehiba note, that we build and are built. And in building your relationship, you have both built more of yourselves. In finding love, you have found new parts of yourselves. In connecting with each other, you have connected more deeply with family and friends. May it always be so going forward. In the eyes of your beloved, may you find hope and strength, guidance, and indeed, the inspiration to go forward and be extraordinary people, lights unto the world, and indeed, lights for one another. By the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may break the glass and kiss each other. Thank you.